today we're going to continue with dress selection and design. Um, in the previous part we were doing um, elements uh, from architecture as an influence and before that we did some radiation um, which is uh, coming uh, out from one center or source. Um, let's see where are we um, um design uh nature as a source. Na natural design source includes leaves, flowers. Uh, shells, animals, snowflakes, all things which are vegetable, animal, or mineral. Again, <laughs> again, interpret the source freely. The beautiful overlapping petals of a bud may suggest the overlapping folds of a bodice. The swirl of a furrow pond, the balanced line of an entire dress, and the spiral of a shell, skirt, tears, or a wrapped shoulder cape. Um, the lines of nature are seldom oppositional and never static. Transitional softness produced by curves folds and gathers characterizes their movement. This design source is abundantly available. You have only to look about. But because the choice from supermundance is always difficult, combine yourself at first to photographs enlargements or stylized drawings of details. Two books in particular illustrate the point. Research Design and Nature um, by John Gilbert Wilkins <coughs> contains stylizations of plants, animals, and shells So clearly and simply drawn that they cannot fail to suggest a line formation for costume. Art Forms in Nature by Carl Blossfeld contains great, greatly enlarged photographs of plant forms. And, uh, <clears throat> and animals as well. Let me see. Uh, this volume is a rare treat and is starting to inspire feeling for beautiful shapes and forms. You will also find superior photographs of plants and animals in current illustrations of current magazines. Your illustrations. Uh... Once you begin to look, you, you can see excellent source material. On tracing paper placed over the way figures, such as the source suggests, a design from nature is typically soft and curving. Uh, try to capture the feeling of the design rather than to copy each line and detail. Of course, you will want to avoid a finished design that literally suggests either a bird or a plant. 
Although you may have seen in a bird's wing or a flower stem the shapes and faces that suggest the theme, uh, uh, of the costume. Use the source that gives you the theme of a design that rather than an insignificant detail. Uh, it says the natural lines of leaves, flowers, and a bird's wing suggest curves, straight folds, and flares. Um, so like that's like a stem, a leaf, a bird's wing, and petals of a flower. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, look for that in the next part and do that. So thank you guys. Uh, we'll pause here and continue in the following part. My page is a Facebook. Facebook dot com. Yo's all play. Y O S A L L. Hi. Have you seen the little toy I have? He's so cute. He's so cute. So cute. <laughs> From uh, CVS, so can't. So we're going to see what influence of nature we can find to implement it into uh, a quote 